You walk in there and you see, you know, the same, similar kind of setup, except that all the doors and the windows and the sinks and the hardwood floors and the kitchen cabinets and uh, everything are, and the paint are things that would have been thrown out, but they're perfectly good and they're perfectly usable. And so we took that model and said, okay, this is something that can work. We've got people now who are working at this place. Their members and their owners are transitioning to become owners of this business. And this is something that can really change the dynamics of the neighborhood. And so this is a great model for us. And then we follow that up with, based on that, we follow that up with our own training program. So now we've got people who are going through it, who are coming to us now with ideas. So we're not coming up with the ideas anymore. People are coming up, coming to us with ideas and saying, hey, you know, I've got an idea. I want to start, we've got five now in the pipeline. I, I want to start up a local green diner. I want to start up a, a design and manufacturing business to make solar and thermal panels. Or I want to start up a vegetarian catering business. Or I, I've got a, a few machines and I want to renovate old furniture and I want to repurpose it and turn a door into a table and do a few other things that are pretty nifty and I can get it up on a nice magazine and an architectural digest and people look at it and go, ooh, and ah, and you know, marvel at it. And all of, those, all of those great, wonderful things. And for us, that's really about creating an opportunity now for people in our community because all of our cooperatives, the businesses we're starting are going to be based in the South Bronx. For people in our community to really develop their own ideas, develop their own businesses, and do it in a way that is really about empowering people in the community.